Meanwhile, the Supreme Court today has dismissed a suit by the People's Democratic Party, PDP, challenging the alleged double nomination of Kashima or Kashim Shatima, the vice president-elect. The judgment was read by Justice Adamo Jaro, who noted that the PDP acted as a meddlesome interloper, as it is an internal affair of the APC. A sum of two million naira was awarded against the PDP, even as the suit was dismissed for lacking in merit. Uh, the Supreme Court have um, dismissed our appeal that we have no local standard and that irrespective of the unlawfulness of what uh, APC did, we are not members of APC and we cannot challenge it. Well, this is the Supreme Court. We can't, like I told them in court, we can't appeal to God. We will stop here. We are bound by their judgment. We have not. We have not. PDP didn't appeal on double nomination in the tribunal. The Supreme Court has spoken and spoken very, very loudly. And I think the significance of it is not so much for the judgment, which we ordinarily expected, considering that we believed from the one that this was a frivolous suit. And um, we have conversed that in the High Court, in the Court of Appeal, and the Supreme Court has affirmed that we are right. And the case has gone through the three layers of courts. I mean, and on no occasion, the Supreme Court has ruled in favor of the respondents. But what I think is significant in all of this, if I must say this is perhaps the first time I'm going to have to speak with the press, is the pronouncement of the court that we should not use the social media, especially to intimidate the courts. I'm sure in the last couple of days, we all would have seen what has been in the media, including some blackmail of the judges. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.